Well, thank you very much, uh, Ambassador. Uh, I believe I'm the only one uh, person from this session who spoke last year in the similar session regarding America and, the President, uh, and President Trump, who had just won the election. I hope I was invited back because I did such a great job in predicting what was going to happen with the new Trump presidency. But Ambassador, you just broke the, you told the truth. So no, actually, yes, you're right. I have to go back today. And it's very ironic um, that I will be speaking about President Trump, whom I have never met yet, but of who, about whom I will meet uh, in the next few days after my presentations here today. As I was going through my notes from what I said last year, um, I was correct in most of my predictions, uh, except for one, which I will explain to you later. First, I predicted that you will see an immediate shift from President Obama's liberal policies to a very conservative policies of President Trump. President Trump, in one of his first appointments, appointed a very conservative Supreme Court justice, as I predicted, and he will continue to appoint conservative justices, as some of the older ones will be retiring soon. I also said that his winning slogan, Make America Great Again, will be good, for, uh, good news for those who do business inside the U.S., but a big challenge for those who export to the U.S. from abroad. He has really turned the world upside down in that respect. For example, I have a big factory in the United States where we just celebrated our 25th anniversary. My late father, the founder of my company, built a factory and passed away a few years later after it was in full operations. Unfortunately, the factory didn't do very well over the years. So every time I visited my father's grave, I would report to him that your company is doing very well, but you made one big mistake in building the factory in America. Our factory is thriving this year. And when I visit my, uh, his grave now, I tell him, Dad, the factory is doing is a big success. You are a genius. How did you know that someone like Donald Trump was going to be the president someday? <laughs> and there's more good news. President Trump is going to lower the corporate tax from 35% to 20%. Terry, this is even good news for you because just from the uh, tax cuts, my company will be able to continue to support your conference for the years to come. <laughs> so, you are, so you are the beneficiary of uh, the Trump tax cuts. <laughs> I also said uh, that President Trump will demand changes in the existing trade agreements, which is already happening now with NAFTA and trade agreement between Korea and the U.S. I predicted that President Trump will ask allied countries like Korea, Japan, and NATO to, make, to, pay for more, uh, to pay more for the cost of the U.S. presence in their countries and in the region. You remember when he visited NATO, President Trump said, I like your new building, but I won't ask you how much it costs. As soon as he said that, I think all the countries are spending about 2% on, on defense. So he you know, got his you know, uh, demand there. Uh, finally, I said that the biggest change will be in the area of immigration, especially for those coming from Muslim countries and Mexico. The good days of an entire family immigrating to America for better lives and opportunities are almost over, unless you're qualified with some skill sets and be able to speak English. I mentioned earlier that I was wrong in one prediction, which was I thought once President Trump took office, he will speak with more caution and in a more conciliatory tone with some demeanor. I was completely wrong in every aspect. And in fact, President Trump has gotten worse. He brags, he lies, he tweets, and can't seem to control himself. But despite all that, a lot of Americans still like him and support him. The polls show that his popularity is the lowest for a president in his first year. But don't believe those uh, polls. How wrong was the poll when they predicted that Hillary Clinton was going to win by a landslide? Likewise, uh, there's a lot of Americans who criticize President Trump because it's embarrassing to support him or to say otherwise. But deep down in their hearts, a lot of Americans quietly like and support him. So since I was correct in most of my predictions uh, from last year, except one, let me uh, give you some predictions um, for next year. President Trump's slogan, Make America Great Again, really means Amer uh, make America strong and rich again. I think his tax cuts will be popular with both the corporate world and for those who are in the lower income bracket. The bracket will be lowered from seven to uh, four. 
The U.S. economy is thriving these days as stock markets are breaking records every few weeks. The unemployment rate is very low, getting lower, and around 250,000 new, 50, new jobs was just recently created uh, for the month of uh, September. So economically, America is going to do very well next year at the expense of other countries. There will be a readjustment in the trade agreements like NAFTA and the U.S.-Korea trade agreements that will benefit uh, the U.S. with changes in the tax law, uh, 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 with, all the, with some of the changes uh, in the negotiations. With changes in the tax laws and tax cuts, many American companies will bring their assets, assets and cash back to the United States. From overseas, there will be a lot of foreign companies that will be building factories and buying assets in the U.S. I mentioned, I mentioned earlier about the late successes of my factory in the U.S. And we are, at the moment, already preparing to build another facility in the U.S. So the economic outlook is very good for the U.S. next year. The challenge for Mr. President Trump next year will be the midterm elections. But with such good economic outlook, I think the Republican Party will be able to hold on to the majority or even increase the majority in both the Senate and the House. The biggest challenge for President Trump will be the outcome of the special prosecutor's inquiries on his Russian connections before the elections. But I don't think it is going to lead to his impeachment. There are so many layers to get to the top, and I don't think it will reach to him. On the diplomatic side, you may not like to hear this, but I think Mr. Trump is the right person in dealing with North Korea, as well as the terrorist organizations. America was very weak and passive in dealing with North Korea and the situation in Syria during the Obama years. I think President Trump will resolve the North Korea issue one way or another, hopefully in a peaceful way. But that will uh, depend on Kim Jong-un. I think the terrorist organizations will continue be to be weakened almost to a point of extinction as he will spend all the heavy military resources and intelligences to go after them. So overall, despite the fact that he is uncontrollable, vulgar, and insulting, President Sir Trump is going to survive. I just wish that he could be more honest, modest, and a compassionate person, but I don't think that would happen anytime soon. I ended, my, I ended up my presentation last year by singing a line from um, Nobel Prize winner Bob Dylan's song called, The Times They Are Changing. And boy, have the times changed. I won't end the song uh, by singing this year, but I think there's a perfect song that somewhat depicts both President Trump's personal uh, uh, and political life. It's called The Winner Takes It All by ABBA. <laughs> and yes, President Trump knows he's the winner and he wants to take it all. Thank you. <laughs>